Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video where we're going to work through another example on using decision trees for economic evaluation and health technology assessment. Let's go. So suppose we are considering whether to invest in a new radiation therapy for treating cancerous tumors. The baseline treatment that we're considering is a surgical option. The qualities are at the terminal nodes here. If our threshold is equal to 1000, is our treatment cost effective or not? So just some comments before we go and move into the problem. We're moving from a decision node where we have two choices that move into chance nodes. Um, in our upper side, we go and we have a case where there would be side effects associated with the radiation therapy. And in a case where there is going to be side effects there um, and you pick up a cost there. Um, the next node that we go and move over is whether our individual survives from this side effects or dies from them. And our surgical option is going to just be where we move down and we're going to see if our individual survives from that treatment or if he dies. So the way we solve this problem is like before. We calculate our expected payoffs of each decision and our expected costs. Step number two is that we go and calculate an ICER and then we go and we compare it to our CE threshold. So step number one is that we go and we calculate the expected payoff of each decision and expected costs. So we're just going and plugging them in over here, making sure that the probabilities here are going and working on each other because we have one probability that moves to another expected value over here. A thing should be noted and it should be seen right away is that we should have only payoffs which are entering uh, these things as scalars um, and we do that for our new radiation therapy our surgical option and we do the same thing for costs that are down here but with our costs for our new surgical option we're going to go and add the initial cost and we're going to add this node payoff but we're going to discount it by the probability of that going and happening and we're going to have our surgical option which is you know just a direct cost that we go and we have we're then going to go and calculate our icer which is going to be a difference in terms of our expected costs, right? First, starting with the new treatment and our surgical treatment, all over our utility from our new treatment and our surgical uh, treatment here. We calculate that ICER and we go and we get this number here. It's a repeating decimal that is going to be um, 1,218.8365 um, dollars per quality. That's what we're going to go and get. We're now going to go and compare it to our threshold. What we go and we see is that since our ICER is going to be greater than our threshold, we can say for certain that this technology is not cost effective and therefore we reject investment in this technology. So we've worked through um, this example here and I hope this video helped develop your understanding of these models. Take care.